Scenes from Army Community Service and the Exceptional Family Member Program's Holiday drive through Celebration. More than 80 families participated at this year's event. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, changes at vehicle control, Fort Mead signs and an historic workforce agreement, and COVID booster shots are available. These stories and more, but first at this week's installation town hall, Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland led off with the latest COVID-19 updates, but the main topic of discussion was the impending housing inspection. Fort Mead is participating in a pilot program that aims to inspect every privatized housing unit in the Army. Here at Fort Mead, the inspection is expected to last up to eight months. The third party inspections are being conducted by RER Solutions and an RER executive was on hand at the town hall summarizing how the inspections are going to work. So the resident uh, will be required to be home during that inspection. Um, your garrison staff here will be working with uh, the management company as well as, as my team to schedule these inspections going out uh, in a neighborhood by neighborhood approach so that we can be the least disruptive and most efficient uh, as possible. Um, the NDA required um, that we utilize industry standards and that it was a third party, non fiduciary, uh, non governmental, non fiduciary uh, group that was performing these inspections. There was much more information on the inspection detailed at the town hall. You can watch it in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, Fort Meade, Anne Arundel County, and Howard County recently signed an agreement that provides employment services for active duty military spouses, transitioning service members, and veterans. The current unemployment rate for active duty military spouses sits at more than 20% and has become a major quality of life issue for the Army. One of the Secretary of the Army's major quality of life initiatives is military spouse employment and transitioning service member deployment. So we said, let's start with this and then start building from that. And that's what really I think we've done here is this is the foundation um, that's going to do some great things and will be the base that we can grow on in the future. December 7th, Colonel Nyland and Arundel County Executive Stuart Howard Pittman, County. Howard County Executive Calvin Ball, along with the president of the Anne Arundel County Workforce Development Corporation, Kirkland Murray, and the director of Howard County Workforce Development, Francine Trout, signed the agreement. And with the agreement signed and in place, the counties will start providing employment services such as teaching job search skills, assistance in obtaining professional credentials and certifications, and job connections. What we find in both communities, both with spouses as well as transitioning military people, is that their ability to get jobs can be tremendously enhanced or improved if they have certain certifications and training. And Anne Arundel County as well as Howard County are going to offer those services free of charge to our community members in the job search business. Elsewhere, the Visitors Control Center at Reese Road and Maryland 175 is closing as the site moves into the next phase of construction. In the interim, VCC services are being split between Building 4215 and the Rockenbach Access Control Point. Starting December 20th, Rockenbach will become the inspection station for visitors Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Outside those hours, inspections will be conducted at the Mapes Road 175 gate. Other VCC services like weapons registration and out processing is going to be done by phone and email. Note here, new and renewal badge requests must be made 10 days in advance by email. Once again, the Vehicle Control Center at Reeson 175 is closed, effective December 17th. Meanwhile, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center continues to offer COVID-19 booster shots to all DOD beneficiaries 18 and older. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are available. Additionally, COVID vaccine is also available for children 5 to 11. The clinic is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the McGill Training Center. No appointment is necessary and walk-ins are welcome. And finally this week, a reminder from MWR, they're offering mobilization, deployment, and stability support training virtually. The training sessions include a pre-deployment brief that's open to all active duty service members and families. They also offer a series of soldier and family readiness training sessions for commanders on down. Once again, the training is done virtually and pre-registration is required. For more information, go to their website at me.armymwr.com or call Army Community Service at 301-677-5590. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. Our next show comes your way on January 13th. In the meantime, on behalf of everyone here at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great holiday season and, of course, a great Mead Week.